Hey, 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 my doll fashionistas and fashionistas from across the globe. It's your girl, Nira J, the chocolate doll lover. Let's have a conversation about dolls. So before we get started, I need you to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. <laughs> Noticing a theme here? Noticing a theme? <laughs> welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you, first of all, before we thoroughly get into this video, for joining in to the Chocolate Doll Lover family. I appreciate the love that I'm receiving from my first video in like four years um, with the OMG LOL, OMG Fierce Dolls, Swag, and Royal B. Those were very fun, um, beautiful dolls. I, um, I'm i enjoying them, you know, but my heart is always going to be with their label mates, Rainbow High. And it is because they do things like this, like this, like this you know and i don't know like why they keep they hear they hear us you know whoever is the um the artist and the, the design artists around you just don't stop this is an 80s girl dream to be able to have such representation in brown darker brown shades of brown skin tones and one of the things that i truly thoroughly appreciate now that we have another sibling uh or cousin somewhere along with the families of sterling is that um this is actually culturally accurate um because in a lot of african-american homes or, or homes with uh, people of color there are several shades of browns in their families i'm one of them my children are the same parents and i have three shades of browns in my sons and they are absolutely just some of the most handsome I, you know i digress <laughs> children um but it's it's factual even in my family we're all brown shades of brown to chocolate to dark brown and yo it's a beautiful thing so to move on from there the other great thing that i love about rainbow high is the fact that they're so uh pr they promote the arts i'm a retired music and art and special education teacher and it is so amazing to for the representation of the fine arts and that also that it's goes beyond imagination it's not even about imagine but attainable actually attainable skills that girls and boys can begin to think about what they want to do be so okay with it you know um it's a beautiful thing i am a singer i am an artist a sketch artist as well i used to be a dancer and all of those things you know then i transitioned into being a fine arts educator for like 15 years and so to have dolls of this caliber and then a black girl dolls on top of that man i'm all in rainbow high thank you we just need some black boys okay it could be Emerald, it could be Hakeem, it could be Thomas. It don't even matter, but we need somebody, a couple of them, okay? Uh, to go with all these, di this, all this, this diverse palette of chocolate. Uh, let me uh, slide Coco. Now, she's not a part of the family like that, but she's a cousin. You know, <laughs> slide your uh, debut. But anyway, uh, let's get into Aisha. The first thing right away that we see, other than her beautiful chocolate complexion and the uh, silver hair, is... Um, that she has some accessories one of the things about that i love about the rainbow high is that um i think they're pretty affordable considering what you get the original cost of rainbow high dolls um are between like 24 to 30 dollars but what you're getting is a a endless options of clothing and accessories they're getting better because some some i'm gonna be real some is kind of sketchy some dolls in previous series may have had accessories like earrings and bracelets and other stone they really hit the fan with the series four and the shadow high with the um 
with all of the jewelry, including that, along with the set, two sets of clothes as well. Um, we expected that from the premium lines. When I say premium, I mean the specialty dolls like the rock stars. They came, that was the first came with so much stuff. The rock stars and then the slumber party dolls where Robin comes from. And now we have the rainbow vision dolls. Um, so with rainbow vision, as we see here in Aisha's box, she has, um, some tools for her vanity um for those of you who are artists and you know you got to have all your stuff in one bag because sometimes when you're performing and you get to these venues uh, if you don't have a writer and a writer is basically instructions of what you want these venues and these promoters to give you baby you got to bring it for yourself okay and they in high school so they have no makeup artists and all that kind of stuff but in a quote unquote perfect world um to have such a design, you know, designer inspired items like this Versace inspired vanity uh, on wheels here um, is awesome. And I love the detailing of the hair dryer where they, she can actually hold it in her hand, makeup brushes and all this stuff. So we got some good stuff. Plus this flapper style, 20 style um, outfit here, um, which is jazz era, which is all that Nira J loves. And I'm super, super excited. But let's take a look at, um, <laughs> sorry, I had to come back and give Robin a spotlight because sis set the way as the actress in the family, honey, she had to make sure that she was superstar status today. And then the promoter, the cousin that's uh, working on a tanner is getting her cousins some um, <laughs> contracts to be black girl magic all throughout the doll verse. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get Aisha out the box and we're gonna see what she, is like i already know she's gorgeous out of the three that were available she was the prettiest to me um i'm not really into makeup but there was something about the way she's blushed that just pops her chocolate um and i'm loving it 100 percent. i love also that they're being they're being more realistic. I'm fine with the hair as a rainbow. I get it. The, the separate colors of the hair. But what I love is the subtleness of the makeup. The more realistic. Let's come out of these pinks and all. Because, you know, they, no, they don't work. But with the browns and the golds, real neutral tones. Um, and also that they're, st that they're giving us brown eyes. This is great, you know. Robin, indeed, is beautiful with the turquoise the aqua she's got tiff she's tiffany inspired right um i'm a tiffany's girl hands down many of you are tiffany's girl so she made sense um but then i really value the fact that like let's give us some some more realistic eyes um because we were having a hard time trying to swap these eyes out <laughs> uh, but that's here nor there Boop, let's get into um, Aisha out the box and let's see what homegirl's made of. So we now have the beautiful Aisha out of the box and we have her vanity, which is a, it seems like a Versace inspired vanity, I think. If I know my label's right. <laughs> um, but let's start with the little accessories, um, minus the hair dryers. I have to put that back separately. Um, these... First of all, she's gorgeous, out of the box, absolutely stunning. Um, and so Rainbow High thought to give us some accessories this time. Um, we have this, um, these brushes and the lip, lipstick, can't even see, it's so tiny. Anyway, I'll put this stuff back in the vanity uh, maybe I'll pull it up there and make it a little bit more um, visible so just be careful because this actually this lip color which is kind of like a, a goldish kind of color does come apart it's two pieces so um, parents that are buying this for their young daughters which I do not recommend rainbow high for really under 10 years old and to me that's pushing it because these are more collector style dolls um but you know to each his own and then we have a foundation brush we have uh looks like eyeshadow brush and uh maybe a lip a lip or contour uh excuse me concealer 
So, I guess. Then we have the makeup palette. Uh, reflecting some um, nice little tones, neutral and gold tones, which are perfect for um, chocolate or darker complected skin tones. That's pretty. And um, the vanity does, well, that's gonna happen. The vanity itself does move and it opens at the bottom here, which I believe maybe that second pair of shoes would travel in there. Um, there's like no garment bag or anything of that nature, but there's this, um, sorry guys, in this, in this setting, it's really a challenge for it to, it won't pick it up in a cinema, cinematic setting on my camera, but you, know, you did see it through the box there. Um, and it closes and it rolls as well. There's a handle that rolls up um, that pulls up the storage shelves can go down there in the bottom you know and I'll pick all that other stuff up <laughs> sorry if I didn't get that on camera but then you close the top of the vanity uh, and it can be rolled away um, also when this is open opened here there is an additional drawer storage drawer falling out anyway just know that um these pieces and thought in theory are absolutely an incredible add uh there's removable drawers again the i'm leaving that stuff right there <laughs> so i don't lose it um with it keep falling out over the place things like this you know i'm not necessarily playing with her because you know i'm staging the dolls i'm redressing them and so on and so forth but one of the things that i'm liking um i see is that aisha's hair is not as long as the other girls um normally in the ponytail it's still it will sit further like behind the bot like some of them their hair goes all the way down to their bottom but but hers does not um in the ponytail as well so she may not have that ankle length hair which is really great a more realistic ponytail and it's pretty uh she does have product in her hair which most of them do some have come with with minimal amounts of gel uh in her hair one of the things her outfit is very cute there we go. You see, you have some sequins going on, some shimmer, um, a lot of shimmer, a lot of sequins, even in a halter top. And the fun thing about this is that they're shorts. She has a pair of, sh like, they're shorts. I thought maybe they were detachable, but um, the skirt is not detachable. Um, and it has a feathers. Um, kind of a boa like ideally um she has on some pretty sandals ankle strap sandals with bows like uh, maybe mimicking pearl ir uh, iridescent not necessarily iridescent but like a pearlish pearlesque or maybe a studded um mimic the studded um i'm sorry a studded um shoe there you know, prom style, how we get it when we're going out. Um, I love her hair. I love the baby hairs that they've done in the front. And I love her makeup. As you were, as you can see, what I was saying is that her blushing is, is a bit, is quite exaggerated, but it's tasteful. Um, for if you've ever performed before, makeup is something that is important that they're able to see your features all the way in the back of the, the you know, the theater, if you're performing at the concert hall, wherever it is that you may be. Um, so makeup, um, blushing, eyeshadows, all of stuff. She doesn't have a lot of that. She has some silver eyeshadow. I, I'm not telling the truth. Um, and a bit of, sh just a tiny bit of shimmer on her face. And the white of the teeth are done really well. So I got a really good one. Uh, let's talk about the nails. This is a new thing. That started with Shadow High, the XD, like acrylic like long, uh, longer nails, um, kind of like a claw almond shape in silver. She also has a, her, her wrists are adorned with jewelry as well. Guys, I'm so sorry 
this advanced stuff on these um, iPhones and this cinematic feature makes beautiful videos, but then when it comes to adjusting, it's like a trip. Um, again, that rhinestone style, uh, blingy silver style with the jewelry. She has a not um, a basically a built-on ring. I think they all do. Melanie's um, hand looked the same, and so did Sabrina. Um, that looks, I think so. They all had. Um, she has some tear, uh, like a the three stone drop earring. Nothing adorning her hair other than a rubber band. Um, it's like they rushed to put that on. But, you know, I love her. I think she's absolutely gorgeous. Um, her second outfit is very um, 20s inspired. Flapper inspired that era of jazz and uh, fancy music, fast moving and, moving and dancing with a boa and the um, sequin two-piece uh, along with the shoes as well. Uh, really 20s expired, inspired um, heel, like a heel Mary Jane style heel. Um, yeah, really pretty, really pretty. They've done a really great job with, um, with Aisha. I am... Let's put her next to her sister. Move this out of the way. Or cousin. <laughs> Whoever Robin is to her. Um, she's beautiful. They both are beautiful. I am, um, I'm touched. I'm touched. I, yeah. What are your thoughts? I just, you know, then here's Coco. We gotta get Coco dolled up. Um, there, you know, this is G Daria, Crystal, Coco, and Phaedra. They're beautiful chocolate girls, and so is Vanessa. She falls in that darker brown and brown. And then we have, you know, actual black um, doll, which is uh, Chanel from the Shadow High line. Um, I'm here for her. Uh, she's absolutely gorgeous. Now, let me tell you who she reminds me of. Ari Lennox uh, from Pressure Video. Your eyes on me, eyes on me, apply the pressure. <laughs> Get it, don't be timid when you in it, apply the pressure. Love a phone. Yeah. The, uh, the, if I could, I'll try to insert a little clip of her outfit and everything. Uh, I think she's beautiful. She's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. They all are. Rainbow High, keep coming with it. What are your thoughts, friends? Oh, my doll fashionistas and fashionistas, what are your thoughts? Drop them in the comment section. Let's talk about it. Um, I have Melanie Lux next um, that I'll review. I've chosen not to get Sabrina right away. The two that were there just did not impress me. If you're like me, you're going through the aisles when you see the Rainbow High dolls and you're looking for the imperfections, you're looking for ones because some are they just are just painted better than others. There's some that just really speak to you. You know, um sometimes there are a lot of imperfections and it's just not worth it buying it. So I chose I always choose the ones that are the best for me. Um now, this Melanie that I have that's behind Aisha, which is her bandmate, is spectacular as well. So I'm excited. But anyway, what are your thoughts? Again, I thank you for stopping by. Um, I'm going to keep trying to grow this channel since I have this, I found my niche with this uh, chocolate doll collecting and this rainbow high and also transitioning into LOLOMG. I cannot wait until I am able to review some of the, the dolls that I um, have unboxed recently from the LOL OMG as well. But uh, Rainbow High, keep it coming. Keep it coming. We need some brown boys, though. We need some black boys to go with all this chocolate, okay? To go with all these girls. Um, yeah, loving it. 
I'm absolutely loving it. Like, subscribe, share again. Um, hit the notification bell so you know when I post a new video. I am being going to be consistent and um, more definitely more frequent with my doll videos. And also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Chocolate Doll Lover. Uh, I post there uh, almost daily with my dolls, somebody new. So I was going to be a feature in a real some type of way. Um, I love you guys. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate um, the comments. I appreciate the likes. I appreciate the shares. Let's keep the doll universe glowing and growing with these chocolate dolls. Have a fantastic life in this doll universe. <laughs> Aisha Sterling. Thank you.